I used to work as a quant, and here are some interview questions that filter out 99% of candidates. You have a fair 100-sided dice, and you roll it three times. What's the expected value of the smallest roll? There is a trick to solve this problem quickly, but it's okay if you don't know it. And in fact, if you use a trick, but you're not able to show that you understand it well enough to derive the way to use it, it's a negative because it's showing that you're using memorization more so than logic. Here's how I would approach this. I would shrink the problem to something that's more manageable, such as what is the minimum value of rolling a six-sided dice twice? So I would construct an image of my head of what the output would look like depending on the value of the two dice. And it would look something like this image here, with the x and y axis being the values of the two dice and the cell content being the minimum value of the two dice. And from this, I know that the answer is the average of all the values in the grids. And that is the sum of all the values in the grids divided by the number of grids. But the hard part is summing the items together. Like there looks to be around 11 ones, nine twos, and so on. This is doable for small values, but it's tricky if we're going to expand it to a hundred sided dice. And on top of that, it'll be even harder when we're going to use three rolls instead of two rolls. We need to think of a more generalizable solution. So remember the image of the grid before? Another way to sum it all together is to break down the grid into components like this. Now the sum is a sum of six squared to one squared. This is much simpler and it gives us the answer to our smaller question of the expected minimum value when we roll a six sided dice twice. It is a sum of six squared to one squared divided by the number of ways that we can roll two dice, which is just six squared. This equals 91 over 36, which can be simplified to around 2.5. Now we solve this easier problem, but we want to generalize it up to our 100 sided dice that we'll roll three times. Instead of thinking about a 2D grid, we can think about a 3D cube, and we can approach a sum of the grid items like we did before, where we can break down the cube into mini cubes of ones. Therefore, with the 100 sided dice, the sum of the grid items is the sum of 100 cubed all the way to one cube. There's a formula for the sum of i cubed, which is n squared times n plus 1 squared divided by 4. If you don't know the formula, that's okay, you're not expected to. However, you should know how to derive it, and therefore, you should be able to use it. And I'll show how to derive it in a future video. From here, we're close to solving the problem. As we said before, the expected minimum value is the sum of the grid items divided by the number of grids. We said that the sum of the grid items is a sum of 100 cubed to 1 cubed. And using the formula mentioned, that is 100 squared times 101 squared divided by 4. And the number of grid items is just 100 cubed. So overall, that gives us the answer shown here. Final answer of 25.5. I'll show the trick as to how we can find this answer faster in a future video, so follow for more.